Okay, thankfully auto saved. Over there. What? About it. it auto saved before we came to this area, so or well, whenever we parked here. Um, so let's see. I want to take a picture though. Let's see. Oh, sorry. By the way, I have the hiccups. Um, let's see if it'll mess up again. Oh, I did for a second there. You see that? Ready or not? Oh, excuse me. It's it was oh, like he started kind of flipping out. Okay, but that's what it's supposed to do. So, also my frame rate seems to be better on the uh, recording software. Excuse me. Um, like I said, it's um, it's been fine in the game. It's just that the recording software is freaking out. Justice Monsters Five. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this, but there's this little like pinball game you can play. I wish it played like normal, normal pinball. I feel like it's just not. It, it's it's this weird kind of take on pinball. It's not that fun. Dig, uh, sorry, dig into a platter of Kenny's fries, fresh for the fryer. Kids and crows agree these crispy golden taters can't be beat. Nothing tastes better than what we make together at the crow's nest. Ugh, sorry. I love these diners and stuff. They're so cool. Let's see what you have. I can't. Welcome talk to, you. to the crow's nest. <laughs> You're so freaky. Can I take your order? Uh huh. Nearby Havens. And parking spot. So, does that mean we can just go ahead and fast travel there? I'm not quite sure how that works. Alright. And what order do you have? Whenever you're ready. So, whoa. Um. What should we get? Let's just go left or right. Prince Poison? Well, I'm not. I don't think we're gonna encounter anything like that though. Coming right up. We'll eat Kenny's fries. French fries are amazing. <laughs> They're like so good. Sorry, I just ate. <laughs> I took a break and uh, it's the morning right now, so I just ate. For some reason, I have the hiccups really bad, so I really apologize. I dare say I could make this a camp. Dish and chips. Awesome. I really want to camp, but I don't know if we really need to, so I may not right now. We'll have to see. Uh, what hunts do you have? These are some pretty tough customers. Mindside mischief makers. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. And then, all right. Uh, nope. And then, this is kind of like those things we already fought. This will be tough. No, won't. I got this. It's easy. Um, all right. Good luck, boys. So where are we going for the uh, main mission? It's like, um. Use the map. Yes, thank you. Um. Oh, wait, let me let me go at quest then. Uh, excuse me. Ah, again, I really wish I could just move the map. So this one's actually like north. I guess we could just go there because this one's in the daytime. So this other one's like way down here though. I need a golden set sail for the wedding. All right, we'll have to do that last because I'm not quite sure. I feel like the demo is probably going to end once we head there. I'm not quite sure though. Oh, uh, yeah. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. Whoa. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced yeah. cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have. And I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. Gotcha. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, first person mode. I, I wasn't quite sure how I'd feel about it, but I think that... Oh, wait, outfits can change attributes? I didn't know that. But, um, so far though, I think it looks really cool. I thought there was usually a mission here whenever so, we came uh, out. So, you think in a fairy tale, Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, uh, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, 
Whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Excuse me. Um, let's see if we can drive the car over there. I really want to go back and get that two-tone thing, though. That thing's pretty sweet. I can't go manual? Aw. Um, can I do quest location? Oh. It's not gonna... Oh, can we not go that way? Maybe that's kind of like off the map or something. Let me... Let's just run, I guess. Sorry if it's kind of boring to just run all the way there, but I guess we have to. Um, hey, let me save it again, just because we have been having some bad luck with, um... With the game kind of freaking out, so let's just make sure we're still saving it just in case. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. You should be able to drive this way. I don't know why it won't let you. It's kind of odd. Oh gosh, this is so far away. Um, that's really far away. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run all the way there. Let Let's just do. Let's just do the main mission. Um, if we end the demo on accident, it's fine. We'll um, whenever the Sitting full God. game. <laughs> when, yeah. when the full game comes out, we'll um, we'll just make sure to um, uh, come back and do these hunts. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like we have to go ahead on or something. Maybe that's why I can't take control of the car. I'm not quite sure. Man, this car looks so dope. Um, so it won't let me. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just go here. Everything in order. Yep. <sighs> This is the, um, man, what place is this? What do you call this place? It's kind of, what was it based off of? It was based off some kind of interesting, um, like, beach kind of place. Story, it's like Lady really cool looking. Of Tenebrae has issued an official statement That's regarding the to? forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And savor the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. You can change the view in the car somehow, but I, I don't know. It's not showing me here. We'll have to see. Alright, so we're here. I really like this place, by the way. It's, it's so cool looking. Access menu while driving to buy and sell items from the comfort of your car. Eh, I forgot about that. That's really cool. That makes it more convenient. Here. It is quite comforting to see other people about. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can we refuel here? No, we can. Tin Gill? Uh, nah, we can hold off. Um, okay, there's also fishing. Holy crap. Fishing is awesome. Our wares. What do you have? Broadsword. Um, that's actually better than the engine blade, but... Um, what the engine blade does, though, is it'll actually heal you. That's what that little uh, plus sign is there, so I don't really want to get rid of that. Um, what about this thing? Oh, that's actually really good. Hmm. Uh, that's really cheap. I guess we could buy it. You want two? Yeah. Pleasure doing business. We can do that and equip them to both of us. Um, javelin. This, oh, that's odd. He doesn't have one. I think I, I have one though, right? We have a yeah. Oh, this is the same as that one I have. Eh. Oh, I see. I see. And then Ignis is. Oh, this is actually better than what he has. 
I don't normally buy weapons and stuff, but I thought, at least for the demo, we might as well just go ahead and we can just be buying stuff. Um, that's actually better too. It's cheaper. I mean, it's pretty cheap. Not cheaper, but pretty cheap. Um, I said we just wait till we get accessories. See you later. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and equip that stuff. So, what all did we get? We got... Can I equip a fourth weapon? I didn't even think about that. Um, I, I guess we'll uh, have to mess with that sometime. Let me go ahead, though. We'll um, switch that out. Uh, what else do we get? We got Gladio. See, we can give them, like, secondary things. So we need to look into doing that. Or Sword. Ignis. Did we get him anything else? I don't think so. Oh, we did. I forgot. And then Prompto. You get a new gun. There you go. Merry Christmas. Got the uh, bangle, right? Increases max maximum HP. All right. Oh, we have 54 AP now. Dang, I need to spin that. All right, let me, um, oh, this is the wrong way. Let me save it again. Like I said, just to be safe, like I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little worried since it's been kind of freaking out. Dang, look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. The uh, character models actually look really good in uh, first person as well. Huh. For some reason, Ignis looks really interesting. Like, like I feel like his graphics look really good. I don't know if that's just my imagination. Orient cheering checkpoint F. Oil and fish make for a delicious dish, but the taste of victory lies further ahead. Seek in the fourth of the valleys of three of the valleys three, where the stairs of stone find that's their lane. It. Oh, what's what? up, Biggie? I've come up with a new recipe. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Why do you come up with a new recipe with that? What is that? It's like a game or something? Whoa! Oh, I want to rent a bird. Hello. Hello and welcome. You have something. Don't. Some people sell. Whoa, the beast. I like that thing. Racing stripes, and then Final Fantasy V soundtrack. We're going to buy it. Thank you kindly. I need to play. Hope to see you again. He should. Someone sells fishing stuff. Wait, look at the stuff back in there. <laughs> Love it. It's so cool. It's just like. It's such a cool look, you know? Like with the water and everything. It also seems to be recording in 60, so sorry if this uh, footage has kind of been all over the place with the frame rate, but right now it seems like it's been recording in 60 this entire time, so thankfully that's good. It's kind of, for some reason, even itself out. But gosh, it looks so good though. Maybe I had to restart it whenever I adjusted the memory Welcome usage. To Golden Key. Thank you. Whoa, it's freaky. Her eyes were I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh, yeah, right. Oh. <sighs> Freaky. Do you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Absolutely. All right. Yes, I was about to say the same. <laughs> yeah, this place is really cool too. You can stay there for the night, but it's like kind of expensive. Whoa, gosh, you're on fire! You're on fire! Watch out! Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. We use the freshest fish in every dish. <laughs> Look at that little oven back there. It's so retro looking. Uh oh. Oh, I was like, no! It's like, this game keeps freaking out. Parking spot. Outpost. Procurement points. Awesome. What kind of stuff. Um, Anything catch your eye? Whoa! Look how much money those dishes are. Holy crap. Um, Here is the local peace lineup. to the beach. Yeah. I look like crabs. Okay. Oh, this one's especially nasty. All right. Well, we'll we'll get them. We'll get them. Ruby shears. Oh wow. Remember, safety first. Uh huh. Sure, sure. 
Bye. <laughs> Man, it's so cool. Now that's a meal. You're a meal. Oh, this is this a comic? Is that what this is? Yeah, the Hexatheon something. Titan, Ramu, Shiva, Leviathan, Bahamut, Ifrit. Since time immemorial, they have watched over Eos. That's cool. So those are like the different, um, whatever. What are they called? Personas? <laughs> What's all this about the port? Um, out of service. Out of service indeed. Wow. Look at the freaking graphics. Uh, what am I supposed to do? One second. Um, investigate the dock. Oh, we have to keep going, I guess. My bad. Oh, that was it. Okay. Ah, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? I don't know, man. Whoa, your hair's like freaking out. Hmm. Now that's a meal. What's over here? I don't remember if I ever, like, just walked over here. Man, it's so cool looking. Let's just see if anything's back here. Like I said, I don't think I've ever actually, like... Ooh, fishies. I don't think I've ever actually, like, walked over here before. Yeah, here's something. A rusted bit. That was super helpful. <laughs> Man, look at it. I thought I saw I could, um... Yeah, what's that? Whoa. Look at the view. Oh, that's dope. So that'll probably be a picture. I mean, that hair effect, though, that's kind of weird how that's freaking out. Man, it's so cool. <sighs> so pretty. That's what's cool about the beginning of this game is it's like, it's kind of just chill, you know? Like, it's not a lot of just running around and doing stuff. It's like, you can really just kind of relax. According to my sources, oh, the Empire... Going given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. <laughs> uh, what favor? Listen to them. Um, I have to stay my ground. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. Nah. Oh, Ignis, you and your ex. The sound of tacit agreement. Here. What's he gonna do? Mark something on my map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Your tides, you know. and your ship will come in. Don't. What? And the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? Oh my god. Can't trust anyone. This sorry town. Um, can we go fishing? <sighs> He's really got your number, Knox. <sighs> Not like we made much effort to keep it. Oh, sorry. It's Altisha. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Altitia. That's where we're going, right? I think so. I get some of the names confused sometimes. I'm like, wait, where are we going again? Um, yeah, let's see if we can fish before we rest for the night. It's so dark. I wonder if I should... I, um, I dropped the brightness a bit. Because I feel like everything was kind of, like, getting washed out. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I should bump it up again. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll rest here, but I just wanted to see if we could do some uh, fishing at night because it's so, so pretty. Look at the stars and stuff. Oh gosh, look at that. <laughs> that's so cool. Me saying that's so cool will probably happen a hundred more times with me playing this, but I don't know. I just, that's, you know, that's what I believe though. I mean, I think it just looks so good. Look at that card. I was thinking that maybe in that guy's car, but I'm not quite sure. Um, oh look, we can stay there. That'll be cheaper. Okay. Okay, here's the dude. Let's see if we can, um, buy some stuff from- Oh, there's a place to camp over there, too. Maybe we can see if we can get those crabs. Uh, now biting. Giant Trevely, Golden Trevely, Let's and fish. more. Like a kid in a toy shop. Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea? Oh, uh, well. All kinds of stuff. So there's- What all do you get? There's- Line, and then there's lures. 
Um, I forget if there's any other things you have to really worry about. I think there's different types of lures, which Good attract different there. types of fish. Take a look at this. What this about it? Fun. What, the thing I was just looking at? Thanks, Gladia. Super helpful. <laughs> look at the water. They knocked. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? <laughs> this will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. Whoa. Well, let's go fishing. Sorry, this is kind of time. boring, but um, it's, you know, it's fun, though. So you can adjust where you want to cast it. Uh, tab is tackle? Find a good spot. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You, like, you can cast where you, like, see them on the map. All right. Won't get a good cast like that. Uh, so Put back into it. Reel in. Okay. A fish's eye and entice it. I forget how you do it. Oh, I screwed it up. Um, recast. I think that'll mess up the durability though. Uh, let's do it there. I forget how you actually like. I forget the best way to fish. Can I get over to that one? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Only bad things we're gonna mess up. I don't, I don't know if that messes up the durability actually. Maybe it's just if you get bites. Fish's eye enticed it by mixing up your speed. Ow. Maybe I did it too fast. Let's try it again. Um. Fishy! Fishy! Dang it. Uh, let's try over here. Let's see if this works better. Uh, yeah. Do slower? Dang it. <laughs> Why can't I get a fish? I want a fish. Um, do I have anything on it? Like, yeah? We have a- where's the bait on it? Um, wow, he does, he is not interested. Um, let's try over here. <laughs> Again, you can feel free to like fast forward to me fishing. I completely understand. Dang, these fish. I don't remember how you do it. Um, let's see. Let's try a different one. So it says like mix up your speed, but I'm not quite sure what it is. What it's getting at with that. Um, I'm not sure if it's talking about like actually just like like adjusting a fish's eye in your lure, enticing to bite by mixing up your reeling speed. Okay. What if you just like pop it down on top of it? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. What? He's actually he's moving toward it. What? Screw you, fish. He was moving toward it, but I don't really know what happened. Okay. I don't understand. Um, no. Well, we're gonna catch a fish. We're gonna catch a fish. I promise. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Maybe they don't like me. A fish. So, what's it mean by mixing it up? The thing is, if you get too far away, is it... Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, quickly move in the direction to hook the fish. Okay. Okay. Okay, the fish is getting away. Move that in the, the direction. Okay. Come on. Don't want to... I press space to reel in. Oh. So, space reels it in. Don't let... It... Oh, shoot. 
Okay, so you don't wanna, you wanna kinda like get it free, then start with it. Okay, don't break the line. The tension's gonna start wearing down. I was, I was never really that good with reeling it in. I would always like, once you get some bigger fish, I would end up wearing the line down on accident. Okay, I think the thing is to just like reel it in without, so like you, you, you pull it, then reel it in, then pull it, then reel it in. So that way you're not doing like both at the same time. Uh, okay. Come on, fishy. You're mine. Just give it up. There we go. Ooh, I missed up the line quite a bit though. <laughs> Great job, knocked. Thank you, thank you. No, it's a tiny little purple fish. Nice. Got some scales though. Congratulations, you landed a fish. Some are edible while some are prized. Okay. I really like that about Noctis though, how he he really just likes to um color indicates yield, yellow dots re represent edible. Rare the fish, the better the ingredient or treasure. By honing his fishing skills, acquire new tackle, you can reel in real whoppers and reap the rewards. That's a lot of ours. Alright, I think we're done fishing though, but that's fun. We'll have to get better at it. I'll have to practice more. But I really like that about Noctis' character, how he just enjoys fishing and stuff like that. It's just, it's really fun. I like, I like that kind of added, um, character to them. I think that's really fun. Uh, let's see where the, uh, the crab people are. So, that's up north. That's somewhere else. This is, like, right here. Level 11? Oh, gosh. Let's see what happens here. I should probably save it. I feel like I remember this. Like I did it, then I like almost died or something. Let me let me save it just in case. I'm a little worried. This is a really long demo. I like it. I saw some people. I think we they were here. they were complaining. Goodness. Come on, on my way. They were like, "Oh, it's we'll only one chapter," door. but it's it's like, yeah. I mean, I can understand why you'd be worried about that, but but at the same time, it's like. It's, there's so much to do though, and two, it's a free demo, like, like, you know, you're not really entitled to any um, set amount of length, you know, like, like, the demo is just to give you a taste of it, like, that's the point, it's to get you to buy the game, so obviously it's not going to be, um, you know, really long or anything. Um, let's see, I can walk to this palm tree, can I see them from here? Oh my gosh. Um... These are pretty, oh gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, this is bad. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to um, fight them. D, D, D. I suck. Um, can we go to that other one that's at night? I wonder if we can do that. So it's this goblin thing. Let's see if we can drive over there. Yeah, but I don't see that question mark on the map. Mr. Video Game. Well, the, the main quest is on the way. My thing, though, is this one's only at night. Whoa. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like driving at night. I forgot. The roads are perilous at night. Let us wait for morning. Uh, screw you. No offense. I'll take the wheel from here. So be it. I only ask you keep the recklessness to a minimum. Fine. <laughs> Um, it's rather dark out. You sure you can handle this? I can see fine. Take a load off for a while. <laughs> He's gonna be so worried. How far away is this, though? It's like a mile. Where's the other one? I guess we could go. Oh, I can't look at the. One sec. Can how do I look at the quest and stuff? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Okay, okay. I was like, no. I guess we could just go there. The heck is that? Oh yeah, it's way back there. Yeah, we'll just do the main quest. I changed my mind again. Well, we'll just go here since it's uh, nearby. Maybe was right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal <laughs> rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. Tis true. That's true. Oh yeah, let's look at it. I like how the water kind of glows. There's like all those lights around it. It's so cool. I think that's the one thing about Final Fantasy that like 
a lot of games that have a hard time meeting is like the style i think that there's a lot of just really cool designs in final fantasy that a lot of games have trouble matching or emulating uh <laughs> oh no is the car all the oh shoot look at the car wait everybody out wait what happened did i just screw up the car oh no Wait, I tried to get out, but do we have to walk? Uh, maybe. One second. Oh, that. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Um. <laughs> one second. <laughs> All right, back on the road. Sorry about that. I just like you can't even go left. Well, if you go left, it it, it like eventually ends. So, right was like the only way we could really go in the car. Um, is there part? Whoa. Was that what I think it was? Looked demonic to me. Why here? Why now? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Oh my god. Same here. I say we step on it. Okay, well, we're not gonna continue that way. Can we go up here? Yeah. Oh gosh. He saw a demon? I didn't see a demon. <laughs> What's he talking about? This is also a terrible place to park the car. You sure we're in the right spot? According to the map. Oh. Scoop it out. Nope. Watch out. Uh, bombs. Oh my gosh. Maybe we shouldn't be here at night. <laughs> Maybe I should just rest. Um, green peas. Mm. Um, should we go? Should we try to do this mission? How do we get up here? We'll have to see. If there keeps being like demons and stuff, on your right. mm, Thanks. maybe we should just rest. Yeah, let's just go ahead and rest. And then maybe um, Ignis can. That's it. Oh, What's nice. What? Multi meat I've sandwich. Come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Alright. I love the recipes and stuff. I just think that's such a fun little addition. Oh yeah, you can get these mineral deposits. This will allow you to like make um, kind of like I don't know what you want to call it. It's almost like bombs or something. It's like elemental things. So elemental energy to cast, uh, absorb energy from deposits. <laughs> that will allow yeah. you to cast those different cool, powerful things. So we'll get these real quick. Yeah, there's usually element seed stuff like around campsites. Um, so I guess that's kind of the thing. There's some electricity ones over there. Let's, um, yeah, but let me grab this real quick and then we'll go and camp. Ow. Is there fall damage? I don't even know if there's fall damage. I forget. All right. Now we have that. So then I think what I used to do was I just wait for it to get all the way full and then I'd make a like super powerful bomb. It actually ended up working well that way. Camp to enjoy a status boosting meal and a good rest to tally XP. Oh, cool. You can do all kinds of stuff. Let's do. Oh, you can just wait? Ugh. Let's just camp. Could crash right here. You can remain awake long enough to eat. <laughs> That's interesting. You could just use it as a place to just like rest. I really wish the glitch thing stayed because it'd be funny if there's a picture that he took of that. That'd be awesome. Ah. <sighs> Love the camping stuff. I would hate to go camping in real life. I we would do that as a family. Like whenever I was really little, we'd go camping and stuff. Maybe not necessarily just like like straight out tent in the woods kind of thing, but you know like cabins and stuff like that. Um, but cabins with like without air conditioning. You know, not really like a fancy cabin or something. Just like a it's like a you know concrete square pretty much. I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, like. Camping is really interesting though, especially going to parks. It's, you know, so pretty. Uh, yeah. So, what else? Ooh, rice balls. Nice. Mmm, that looks really good. Um, these, okay. I didn't know if these cost stuff or not. Oh yeah, that's funny. It shows like who likes the meals the most. Hmm. This is almost better there. 115 attack. Yeah, we'll just go with this one. It's more well-rounded. I wonder, is there a thing? I feel like there was an, uh, a, a trophy for like cooking everything or something. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to see about that once the full game is out.
All right. We all leveled up. We have a lot of AP now. Oh, no one leveled up. Great. <laughs> nice. Skill levels up. Remedy Retriever. Road Trip. Filter. Oh, yeah. I gotta see how we can take pictures ourselves. I'm not sure if we can do that yet. Um, let's see. View it. <laughs> I like those. Um, save that one. Again, I guess it doesn't really matter, but whatever. That's cool. I like this car. I'm not a huge fan of it, though. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. I like this one. I love the, the bird thing. I remember the first time I saw that, I was like blown away by that for some reason. I just thought that was so funny. It's a cool picture. I like those kind of like off-center pictures like that. Um, oh look, there's a um, there's a little thing in the picture. So see that that's like a like an extra thing. Um, I'll see that one. I like that one. No, I'm not like that picture. That's a decent picture. That's cool. Bo you, I guess. I don't know. He's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, I love this game. It's. <sighs> Peaceful it's area. like dark and quiet reveals so much oh, uh, hidden by loud city lights. That's all well and good, but I'm more concerned about the things hiding in the dark. Well, it's definitely no place for a moonlight stroll, but it's not all bad. Yeah, I kind of like it. Never would have guessed. Why not? Because you're a prince. What? Princes can't enjoy the outdoors. I guess the only thing with this game, though, is like. It can be hard once you've played games like The Witcher to kind of enjoy it because it, it feels like it feels like The Witcher but with, with features missing. Like there's not as much to do as there is in The Witcher. I played this before I played The Witcher 3, so um, I was able to enjoy it, you know, like quite a bit. But I, I think that's the thing with this game is it, it's a really great game. It's just that you don't have like such a massive open world experience, you know. Wow. But it's still the really good amazing. though. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, no. oh. Gee, we're supposed to get near that thing. Shoot, pipe down before you wake it up. Big bird. Can I save it? Uh oh, okay. Let's hope nothing bad happens. Um, should we go this way? Look how big it is. Holy crap! Oh, that sound. Oh gosh. Let's just go over here. Don't worry. Hi, bird. Oh, I can't go in first person mode. Oh. See, I wish that the first person mode was a bit more uh, intuitive. Like, like if the you can use it all the time. Like that's like when you pick something up, it, it knocks you out of the mo the first person mode. You know, stuff like that. It's like kind of odd. Oh, that's its tail. Oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't realize that was its tail. I'm gonna go over here. Prompto, you're freaking out. Calm down. Glad you have so much health. Let's see. Can you oh! <laughs> Gosh. Look at that thing. Dang it, look at that. <laughs> Off it goes. See you, bird. Sorry if I freaked you out. We made it out alive. Barely. I seriously thought we were at journey's end. With that feat was fit for a king. Indeed. Choco beans, that's funny. I wonder if, um... Is there a way that you don't wake that up, or is that part of the mission? Because I was thinking, I wonder if you're supposed to, like, you know, try to actually sneak past it. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think I think you have to, uh... I think you have to wake it up. Can we jump down here? Oh, no, we can't, actually. It's like a invisible wall. That's fine. Oh, there's another mineral deposit over here, it looks like. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. Let us grab these, and then I guess we'll return to, uh, eh. This we'll like return to paint. Dino. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. A lot of these things are actually used for paint jobs and stuff like that. It's really funny. I like that, though. There's, um, you know, some stuff is just purely cosmetic. Some of the stuff you get is fun. Just makes for, like, yeah, just kind of like a laid-back kind of experience. 
Oh. Whoa, 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 gosh. There's the car. Can I go off this? Oh gosh, I was trying to do the thing. I was trying to uh, do a uh, warp thing there that wouldn't work. Um, let's see, let's do this. You should be able to just fast travel back. Yep. We'll just fast travel that way. We don't have to drive all the way back there again. Now, I wonder if the, um, and here we are. I think the loading screens are faster. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Nah, we're fine. Don't worry about it. How do you do that, by the way? There's like a tactical menu. Um. Yeah, see, I'm not sure. There's some, so you have this menu, but then there's also another one where you can just kind of, oh gosh, that's Q. T, okay, that's what it is. So see, you can do this. You can take a picture of whatever you want. So T is that. Oh, you have filters. Oh, we only have one filter so far. Okay, I was trying to remember how that worked. So that's cool. So if you press T, that opens the tactical menu, I guess you could call it. So that's nice. Ah, this is a really cool place. I like it. I guess my only thing, like I said, though, it's like... I feel like after playing the, um... After playing the, the Witcher, it's it's kind of like... I guess the world... this The world of Final Fantasy XV, it doesn't feel as lived in or as alive. It feels a little mm. sterile in comparison. It's nice. Welcome to Golden Key. <laughs> But I do think, though, that that's just kind of the tone of the game. It's not a dark game. It's not anything like that. It's just like, you know, like, this is the game. Like, it's just, this is the world. It's super clean, super pretty, super bright. You know, it, it's kind of, it's it's kind of sterile in its own way. And I think that's kind of just part of the way the world is as well, you know? So, yep. I'll give you the stone. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You Dang. understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. <laughs> this elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. <laughs> As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. Um, you guys ready to set sail? Once you proceed, you'll be able to return. What? Um, let me say no. Oh, relax. I'm not trying to rush you or nothing. Come back when you got everything in order. I think he gave us one of his pieces just like that. I think this ends the demo. Let me save it real quick. We'll probably just go ahead and end it. Maybe he'll make some more for us. Yeah, for a pretty gill. Uh, worth it for a one-of-a-kind accessory. He may have come off as flippant and forceful, but I sense Dino is honest and hardworking at heart. Huh. Yeah, sounds like he and I are two peas in a pod. <laughs> nah. He's a hell of a lot sharper than you are. And he's got a lot more substance, too. Uh <laughs> Poor Fabdo. Um, what, so what all do we have left though? We do have hunts, I guess we could try to do. Um, yeah, that one's just kind of out of the way. That one's at night. Yeah, let's just see what happens whenever we talk to him. Um, yeah. Already, the ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? All right, we'll do it. It's bedtime. What happens? I forget. Let's see if it'll tell us. Like I said, it may just in the demo. Nice. Oh, times two. Sweet. Whoa, nice. Ignis is just leveling on up. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Ow, it's kind of washed out. Save that one. 
That's kind of cool. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what happens now. Like I said, I feel like this may be the end of the demo. It'll probably leave you like with a cliffhanger though, right? Oh, snap. Is this the movie? Oh my gosh. Explosion. I forget if this is the movie. I never watched, I actually started it, but I heard it wasn't really that good. So I, I just didn't end up finishing it. The, um, the animations or however you want to call it is insane though. It looks so good. You got it, Lucius. Oh no. I like that thing. The car in it too, it's like an Audi. It's like so cool looking. I think they sold a real version of it. In real life, it's like super expensive. Dang. The place is getting attacked. Come on, Kingy. E. Oh. I switched aspect ratios. The scariest part of all. Aww. Poor King. He did. Ah, that place looks so cool. Morning. I love the way this room Respects. looks. Respects. Should be back any minute now. Hello. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia. False. What? This is your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. If only. <sighs> what else do we know? Uh, only we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Yeah. Dar dar dar. Well, if uh, ill tidings arrive, the headlines say Insomnia has fallen, King Regis is dead, but the four cannot be sure until they see it with their own eyes. In search of truth, they make their way back to the Crown City. All right. I like that. Look at look at that place. That's where we were earlier. The Crow's Nest Diner. I love it. Yeah, but this game, though, I mean, it's a really good game. Like, like I said, I, I think that's my thing, though, is like, obviously, it's not as vast as the witcher but i think that's the thing is this game final fantasy 15 has its own charm like its own kind of tone and um you know story that it's going for which is different from a game like the witcher that's a bit more of like a mature game Ooh, look at that rain ill tidings so is this still chapter one thing oh gosh i hope everyone's okay <sighs> at gonna do you mustn't lose faith really can faith stop a fleet of imperial dreadnoughts just give it a rest my old man had plenty of faith enough the empire lied they betrayed us 
Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. Whoa. That's not good. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of those things. Imperial dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitech infantry. The robots. Mass produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. It doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace tree. Dang, look at those Up things. <laughs> uh oh. Roadblock. They've set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Dang, look at all of those. Uh oh. It'll be sneaky beaky. Climb the hill overlooking insomnia. Okay. Alright. Hopefully, you don't notice us. Ah, oh, you get in the car all dirty! I guess having a white car in the desert is kind of a stupid idea. <laughs> it's kind of silly. You're gonna get like every dirt and all kind of stuff all over it. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. All right. We need our we need our jackets. Let's get our jackets on. <laughs> I like how the uh, the clothes actually have like water on them and stuff. Um. Again. I know this is so pointless, but I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Yeah, there we go. You need all the clothing. All the clothing. <laughs> What's his other outfit? Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like his, like, um, normal outfit, though. Alright. Let's do this. Now I'm that I'm clothed, I can, uh, I can do a better job now. <laughs> Uh-oh. There they are. Is there cover here? Want to take him out? Oh yeah, those scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a treaty to protect him. Oh, there we go. Sneak attack! Oh shoot! Wait! Oh no! I was about to say this one over here is playing and shoot me. Nice. Whoa! He just blew up that thing. Oh, tag him! Uh, who's next? You? Oh my bad. I was trying to take the other one. I guess I should have looked down the. Control switch to targets, right? Okay, we'll have to. I'll need to get the hang of that. All right, boys, let's keep going. It's getting real. This is getting real. Yeah, this is kind of what's about how like the tone changes. Um, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that like, um, it's just kind of. I I like the whole, you know, kind of boys on a road trip kind of aspect. I guess is the thing. Oh, I'm not trying to run away. Oh, they like don't even they're not even gonna attack that's so weird um let's just oh there we go. wow i killed him wait i can uh can i port or that should allow me to have get some of my uh oh there we go all, all my mp back actually nice oh, where's this other one you sir you guys in the back ow it's hard to see maybe i should put the brightness up a little bit i feel like it's a little dark come on finish him are you dead uh, uh, wait, how do you do the thing? Uh, Ignis, do your thing. Hopefully that'll help. Nice. <laughs> the guy, like, paints targets for you. Oh, shoot. Um, Prompto is on the ground. Prompto is always the weakest. He always ends up, like, like getting injured. That, that would always happen in my playthroughs. It was really weird. Like, Prompto would always be, like, the first one to die. Oh yeah, hopefully that's something they'll fix too. The the can the AI are actually not the smartest when you die and stuff like that. So hopefully they fix that by now because sometimes it'll be really annoying. All right, let's go. What is that sound? Is that just all the ships and stuff? We should seek a vantage point. Oh, I got a vantage point. I can murder these fools here. There we go. Um, ow. Uh, let's get the sniper. Ow. Whoa. Look at you. You're supposed to be a sniper. You're not supposed to be attacking me with <laughs> melee stuff. Oh, wait. That guy over there needs to calm his butt down. Um, wait. Let's do Gladio's thing real quick. Oh, he's dead. No, don't attack that guy. He's dead. Dang it. I should have done. Um. Oh shoot, Axman. I should have done the um. 
probably Ignis's thing. There you go. Kill him! Okay, I'm gonna fall back. They're actually... They can be pretty tough. But now let's do Gladio's thing. Since there's a whole group of them. Like I said, I think this is kind of more of like an AoE kind of attack. So that'll come in handy, hopefully. Nice, he's vulnerable too. Knock him down. Alright. Sweet. Did it? Nice, that worked out really well. So let me remember, uh, weapons mark with that can be remodeled. Oh, I thought that was a healing thing. Is it not? I was sitting there, I was like, that's a healing thing. Is it not really? So one, two, four. So it, it's counterclockwise. One, two, three, we don't have, and then four. Okay. That's very odd. I feel like it should go the other way around. I guess we could change it if we wanted to. Okay, here's the overlook. Let's see what's up. What's the damage look like? As the ceasefire discussions between the two nations, all provisional terms have been suspended in light of recent development. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis's death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis and the Oracle Luna Freya have also been pronounced uh -huh. dead. Keep it on. But... <laughs> Don't bother! <laughs> Fake news. Whoa. Dang. Those things are so big. Hello? Core? So, you made it. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Outside the city? With no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> About the king, it's true. <laughs> Aww. If you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. Right. He is R-ing IP, unfortunately. Ill tidings. I think it's ill. The I and L's look kind of similar. <laughs> All right, I probably cut a lot of that because it shows a cutscene that gives away a lot of the game, which is kind of the way that they've been marketing this, um, the PC release and the Royal Edition. They're showing a lot of gameplay, like the ending. Um, and so I think for those of you who are really interested in the story and stuff, I, I don't want to um, show that. Um, thankfully, I've already finished the game, so it's not like a spoiler for me. But um, yeah, it's just it's kind of it, it's kind of sad <laughs> if you haven't beaten it, so you may not want to you know may not want to pay too uh, good attention to some of the things that they're releasing. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the rest of the demo. There were some hunts we could finish. But um, I guess what we'll do is, unfortunately, this the progress of the demo doesn't carry over to the full game, which I don't understand. I think that was the same with the um, uh, Wolfenstein 2 demo from what I've heard. I don't understand why they do that. I really wish that they would, especially for single player games, I wish that they would just let it carry over. Um, but either way, the game comes out in about a week. So I'll have to get caught up to where we are and then hopefully we'll pick up from here. In the full game and be able to kind of just continue on with a lot of the main uh the, the side quests and doing a lot of that kind of stuff and there's a lot more interesting things to discover in the game a lot more cars to be customized <laughs> or customizes to be made on the car there's still chocobos to be ridden there's a bunch more uh story missions and places to go and stuff like that so uh i hope you all have enjoyed this time so far with the demo uh and uh yeah make sure to stay tuned subscribe be notified of whenever we hopefully begin playing the actual game itself. Um, yeah, and I'll see you all in the next one. Okay, bye guys.